Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Visiting some friends, interesting conversations, and a very good time. So uh, I can't let you go uh, because it's, uh, this is something that I really love doing. So I have uh, an article here. Actually, I have two articles, one from BBC and the other one from Associated Press, telling us about a new massive attack on Kiev conducted by the Russians, and it is, according to Associated Press, the biggest. So let's uh, jump into these two articles that I have. Let's start with uh, BBC. So BBC, this article is uh, from two hours ago, which today is the 28th of May 2023. Ukraine war, Kiev hit by new massive Russian drone attack. And uh, says that Russia has carried out a new massive drone attack on Ukraine's capital, Kiev. Vitaly Klitschko said a man died when drone wreckage fell near a pet petrol station. A woman was injured. So overall, Russia launched a record 54 so-called kamikaze drones on Ukrainian targets. 50 two of which were shut down. So 52 out of 54. So uh, more than 40 drones were downed over the capital overnight, Ukrainian officials said this information has not been independently verified. Why would you verify it? Just trust it. Uh, at least two high-rise buildings in different districts of the capital caught fire after being hit by falling drone fragments. Well, I don't believe that. I think, I mean, I think these guys uh, sometimes destroy something, sometimes they fail, but we are supposed to believe that they hit uh, 54, 52 out of 54. Well, I don't have any counter arguments or evidence, so let's see Associated Press. Russia, Russia launched largest drone attack on Ukraine capital before Kiev day. One killed. So largest, okay. Ukraine's capital was uh, subjected, subjected to the largest drone attack since the start of Russia's war. A local official says, as Kiev prepared to mark the anniversary of its founding on Sunday, at least one person was killed. Russia launched the most massive attack on a city overnight Saturday with Iranian-made Shahed drones, said Serhi Popko, a senior Kiev military official. The attack lasted more than five hours with air defense reportedly shooting down more than 40 drones. Nah, they shot 40, uh, 52, uh, says the Bay Bay say. And then tell us uh, some dead people died here. And Ukraine's Air Force said that Saturday night was also re record-breaking in terms of Shahid drone attack across the country. Over 54 drones launched, now 52 were shot down by air defense systems. Well, um, Let's give you some history, I think, here. Kiev Day marks the anniversary of Kiev's official founding. The day is usually celebrated with live concert, street fairs, exhibitions, and fireworks. Scale back festivities were planned for this year, the city's 1,541th anniversary. All right, so that will get us to what? A year about. Uh, 520 some or 509 17 9 18 or something 400 oh, something like that all right well uh unfortunately for the ukrainians the russians still have uh, drones i haven't uh, read anything about any missiles there but um, it's bad enough when you have drones coming and I don't think that missiles are necessary nowadays. It seems like the war changed uh, or at least it switched towards um, drones use more than uh, airplanes and missiles. It's true that uh, missiles cause more damage and uh, can penetrate uh, certain targets that a drone cannot because a missile uh, could have certain kind of uh, warheads uh, versus a drone which can't can be big can be small but if it's big it's slow so the drones are slow and easy to be uh, destroyed versus a missile incoming missile if it's hypersonic or not but now that the 
Ukrainians can destroy all these hypersonic missiles, then uh, I guess uh, the Russians <coughs> have nothing, nothing left to uh, to attack um, the Ukrainians, which is good news for the Ukrainians and bad news for the Russians. So the ma the biggest the, the massive drone attack. More to come, unfortunately. Uh, I don't believe personally um, anything anyone tells me without providing evidence especially during a wartime and telling me that they shut down 52 out of 54 it's not impossible it's it's possible but i don't uh, i think i would give it that amount i don't know maybe 40 percent i would give 30 percent it seems like the propaganda works on me uh <clears throat> why because i give them 40 percent i would have given them three percent actually because i don't think they were so uh successful but that's just a personal uh, feel about the whole thing i don't have any evidence to support my uh, claims or uh, contradict them but i don't believe those guys as a um, default you know the same the same is true for the russians so i'm uh, not you know only the ukrainians lie i'm pretty sure everybody lies i mean i'm not pretty sure i'm sure that everybody lies so um anyway uh, there's some more news. I will try to see if I can uh, make more videos. And uh, this is my uh, new uh, attire for the videos I'm going to make. Unless uh, they get too dirty and I uh, have to change them. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.